Oh! Thank you. Um. That's interesting. Quite interesting. It's gonna be a major long stream, by the way. Making sure everything goes. Hey, Code Red! Thank you for that. Nice. Um. I history of Fortnite animated. Oh, he said he was doing his thing in animated now. Watch Cypher. We can react to Cypher. How long is it? Go on. You know what? We'll react to Cypher's new video. Uh, back. Uh, eight. Start. No! What? Fortnite is the biggest game in the yeah, world. Yeah, you know. Try to film an intro here. There we go. Oh, no, I don't want that one. Ah! Bob, hold on. Oh. Ooh. Um. Ah, oh, to record it. Why do we intro? Let's just go straight. Huh? Ah, I'm bothered. Back again. Oh, whoa. Hi, History of Fortnite animated by Cypher PK. Let's go. Fortnite is the biggest game in the world, but 10 years ago, it looked like this. Wow. That is. Okay, so I started playing in Chapter 1, Season ten X. Season X or Season 9? Around that time. Look at the X Lord suit. Which is he's an X. I'm presuming because he's X Lord, right? He's an X. So yeah, probably season X ish. I started to play. I was. I was in chapter one, okay? So I, I've been here for a while. In 2011, Epic Games is developing Fortnite Save the World, and it finally releases in 2017. It's doing all right, but it's not blowing up. What is blowing up? Battle Royales. So Epic sees this, and in just a couple weeks, they make a Battle Royale version of Save the World called Fortnite Battle Royale. Fortnite. 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 My God, wow, so many. Let's go. Whoa. At the start, nobody thinks this is going to be some massive game. But I'm making some gamers hydrate. decided to actually give Fortnite a try. Because the tunnel points. land on a massive, colorful map, you loot weapons, and the zone slowly shrinks, forcing players to fight until it's just a 1v1. And uh -huh. everyone wants their first win. If Obviously, you're the duh. Last 1v1, you are literally shaking with nervousness. <laughs> so oh my god, this is so dope. might have taken you hundreds Cypher. of tries. I was going to play over. Remember that magical time it happened. The time they actually got that last kill and got their first victory royale. That's the game dude. was fun and free. Fortnite gained over oh, yeah. 10 million players Whoa. in its first month, and it would only get bigger with the release. 10 million in one month? That is. What? 10 million? It's Fortnite Season 1. The okay. Surf Juice is added. I was not in there. For the first time ever, skins. Renegade Raider, hey. Aerial Assault Trooper. There's now an item shop where you can buy things with V Bucks. But I mean, who's really gonna spend money on Fortnite? I'll spend uh -huh. money. <laughs> uh, I'm one of those people. Just saying, just to get the icon skins. So like Lachlan, um, Lou, Zufru, uh, Laser Beam. All the icons, all the icons, most of the icon skins, technically, because I don't have um, the tennis player. There's some other ones I don't have. And now I'm broke. Game gets well, not broke. But... Let's buy the skins later. We also got Fortnite's Halloween event, which brought hey, the pumpkin launcher, Fortnite Skull Mez. Trooper, and Skull Trooper, which was instantly claimed by some kid named I'm the Myth. Oh look, he's kind of ah. starting to learn how to build, and he just beat this big Twitch streamer by just building higher and higher on him. My ground is actually useful. Meanwhile, players figure out that instead of fighting, you can just hide. In ah, bushes, bush camping. No I would be one of those people. I would just people want to hide, hide in the and... sky. So why not make a big sky base and hope no one looks up? Oh wow, uh, yeah. This, Fortnite just released an update. They fixed a ton of bugs, like the pump having infinite range, and added a oh, new wow. item, a launch pad. 
Epic ah. Games releases new content like this every week for free? This Fortnite game is kind of different, huh? But it's about to get a lot more different in Season 2. Ooh. Epic adds a small POI called Tilted Towers, and oh, a minimum no. of 80 people are landing there. Boogie Bomb is also here with the mini shield, the mini gun, silenced pistol, the crossbow, Fortnite couldn't miss. Dang, they went overload in this. By using a launch pad and some traps to make a trap tower. Oh yeah, there's also this guy who's getting kind of popular on Twitch. Huh. His name is Ninja. He's kind of the best player in the game right now. We got the first kind of battle pass with the Black oh. Knight and the Floss. <laughs> hey, yo, Ninja, Ninja, is this enough movement? <laughs> find a glitch where you can shoot an RPG at your friend and have him jump on it and ride the rocket. Oh, Instead wow. of fixing the glitch, Epic makes it a part of their game. Meanwhile, a guy called Daquan figures out you can use two pump shotguns and switch between them for much more damage. Ah. Thankfully, Epic learned from rocket riding and decided to never, ever remove double pump. <laughs> There's now 45 million players on Fortnite, but that's nothing compared what? to Fortnite Season 3. When I just where I am, yeah. Stream. It's on the news. All your friends are playing. Everyone in your class is playing yeah. it. Even your grandparents are catching epic Ooh. victory royales. Lucky landing, guided missiles, deagles, clingers, llamas. New battle hey. is a banger. It has Rust Lord, take the L, but also the infamous John Wick skin. At this point, fighting yeah. someone with a skin means they're a sweat. But if you ran into a John Wick, <laughs> you would run away. Turbo building just got added, and now building is much, much easier. Myth is camping in these new things called one by ones, and for the people actually playing the game, they're using ramp rushes to win fights. Everyone oh, wow. thought Fortnite was at its peak, but then Ninja plays Fortnite with Drake and shatters the Twitch viewership record. Oh wow! Then he hosts the first Fortnite tournament and breaks his record again. Fortnite it's Friday it's is also what? He hosts the first Fortnite tournament. And One hundred thirty-five thousand. I would never get an extra on the those viewers. And breaks what? his record again. Fortnite Friday is also here. A hmm. weekly tournament where duos race to get the most kills. Fortnite cannot be stopped. There should be nothing to worry about, but wait. There's this weird meteor in the sky. And it crashes into Dusty Depot in Fortnite Season 4. Dusty Depot is now Dusty Divot. There's hop rocks, sink bombs, bouncers, jetpacks, and of course, shopping carts. There's hmm. a new superhero battle pass. The skins are okay. But the orange shirt kid finally got justice. Shopping cart challenge videos, covering Dusty Divot, clickbaiting the bunker, or just getting squad wins with the boys, Fortnite was the hot thing on the internet. But wait, no way. Thanos is now in Fortnite in their first ever collab? Everyone is scrambling, trying to land on the gauntlet to become mm -hmm. Thanos because he is super overpowered. Ninja is pulling a hundred thousand live viewers. I wasn't playing this, but player, no, he came obviously. back a thing later on as well. There's this other guy that people say is even better. His name is Tifu. Hmm. All right, dropping, dude. Coming with a swan ton, dude. But then, Fortnite is telling everyone to log on and be in game at a certain time. And millions of people are attending the first live event in hmm. gaming history. Oh, yo! Oh, yo! Right of it. One small step for man. Oh my god! What? Hey, Griff! This huge rocket launches, flies around the map, and crashes into the sky, causing a massive rift. Huh? Oh my god! Leading us into season five. Hey! Paradise Palms, Viking Village, ATKs, Lazy Link. Season five starts with a spray meta. The drum gun was broken. The silence SMG is the best AR. The P90 is the best SMG, shotgun, huh. AR, sniper, all at once, for some reason. It had flaws, but this was the peak of fun squad games. Tim, Courage, Ninja, and Lupo were always on. Hey! And CD and Fearless are actually uploading consistently. The summer skirmish kicks off, and we start to see who the real Fortnite pros are. Team Liquid popped off, but Aiden huh. and Nick Merckx face off and tilted, but later unite and show everyone that you can actually compete against keyboard and mouse players on controller. Uh. But in the middle of the summer skirmish event, a big lightning strike hit. Oh, wow. Bro, is this, is this an event? The event's happening during the snow way. Are you huh? kidding me? Whoa, get this! Happen. And this massive purple cube spawns. The community quickly calls him Kevin. Hey. Kevin slowly rolls around the island and eventually falls into Loot Lake and melts into it, turning the lake purple and bouncy. Hmm. Kevin the Cube then rows back out of the lake, creating this huge floating island in Fortnite Season 6. 
there's now zombies on the map there's six shooters shadow stones quad crashers balloons spaz shotguns but there's a new battle pass but everyone only cares about a glitch with the calamity skin at <laughs> this point people are kind of learning how to build and edit now and people are using the forbidden fourth building slot that nobody used up until this point the cones and a new <laughs> up-and-coming pro named mr fresh asian teaches lachlan how to build a 90. Hey. What the hell was that? Cross platform comes out and people are one shotting walls with the deagle and the heavy sniper. At the end of the season, we get another event. Kevin is unstable and explodes with energy, sending us to this weird white room where we meet and end up touching a butterfly. We don't really know what okay. this means, but we're super excited for Fortnite season seven. Ooh. Planes, wraps, drift boards, frosty flights, polar peak, Whoa. and infantry rifle. We also get the addition. Insane. Holy wow. Of Rifle. Mode. Scissors Dude, drops yourself. this death run map and creators are losing their mind trying to finish it. But most people use creative to practice their building. This yep. is the first time you really get sweats in Fortnite. The soccer skins, ah. res, there's now a divide between the good players and the casuals. I'm a casual. God huh. damn, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Told you! It's a lie! It's a Twitch game! We then get arena mode, glider redeploy, Ooh. siphon, and the marshmallow concert. Hey, change that was that right for the winter royale, where they drop the first mythic item, the infinity blade. Ooh. Oh, you suck at the game. Oh my god. The community is not happy. It was a fun idea, but it's way too strong and should not have been in a professional Fortnite tournament worth millions of dollars. Then. The Ice King, who had slowly been gathering energy in his little ball, sends a massive ice storm over the map and covers the map in ice. Oh, snow. We have snow. Oh, this is live event again. Whoa. Oh, my God, bro. Now, we're in Fortnite Season 8. And there's a huge volcano on the map for some reason. There's a pirate-themed battle pass, lazy lagoon, treasure maps, cannons, flintlocks, boombos, and ballers. And Fortnite would shock everyone, announcing this thing called the World Cup with a $30 hey. million dollar prize pool. Bizzle qualified by hiding in a baller all game. Tim actually mm. almost qualifies, but ties the fall damage. I die! This new guy clicks qualifies easily by W keying and using this new thing called box fight. But before the World Cup, it's time for the unvaulting live event. They're floating in. Yo, mm. We get sucked into the middle of Loot Lake and we get to vote on an item to bring back to the game. There's the planes, the sword, the bouncers, and of course, you can guess what the defaults picked. No. Oh, no. What are you doing? Oh, no. But then we were teleported into the sky. The volcano was erupting mm. and it shot a massive fireball and completely destroyed Tilted Towers. Five oh. Tilted. No. Then they brought it back though, didn't they? And Jonesy, the main character in the Fortnite cinematics, goes into hiding. Huh. Years later, he emerges from his bunker in Fortnite Season 9. Uh, so it's from this Neo one or Season X I started Mall, playing. So. Streams, chug splashes. Season 8 was pretty good. So as long as they don't make any huge changes before the World Cup, this season's going to be great. Yeah. Oh no! They replaced the pump with a combat shotgun, and it was pretty yeah. controversial. But players get time to use it before the Fortnite World Cup. Only the best 100 players in the world qualify Booga. for 30 million dollars. Surely these guys are only the most alpha, most experienced esports super athletes in the world. Actually, it was mostly 15 year olds with minimal social skills. <laughs> I wouldn't say that, but yeah. Thankfully, a 15 year old with decent social skills won. Booga dominated everyone and was. Fun fact I was born on the same day as Booga, right? 30th of December. I'm expecting world birthday Cup wishes. And for social. Three yeah. Million dollars. Three million. And parents around the 16 world. 16 years old. That 15. Wasn't a waste like, of time. Meanwhile, back on the map, there's now a do with the the money. volcano and they built this big mech. Apparently, hey. there's a giant monster in the water outside the island and they face off in the monster versus mech event. That is so scary! Oh my god, holy crap! Oh. The monster grabs the zero point, but the mech comes out of nowhere and stabs him in the eye. But oh. after the event, the zero point wasn't safe under the was flossing with one end. The power source of the island, and now its raw energy is causing the island to destabilize fast. Welcome to season. There 
From this point on, I was playing. I, I started playing. OG Dusty Depot was back. There's a huge meteor in the sky. Greasy Grove has tacos. You can turn into props in Paradise Palms, which is now half swamp. Tilted is Wild West now, and you can't build there. Just kidding. It's Gotham City now. There's a Borderlands <laughs> POI where you gain shield constantly. And there's also the mechs. They are hmm. crazy broken and require almost no skill to get wins. Fortnite is in a rough spot with the hashtag vault the mech trending on socials. The community said we want the OG Fortnite map back, not this mess of tacos and <laughs> zombies. And thankfully, Fortnite was way ahead of them. They announced an event called The End. And for the mm -hmm. first time, we see the seven. There's seven characters who have escaped the game of Fortnite but we have no idea what that means. They use their rocket ships and send the meteor crashing to the zero point, creating a giant black hole, pulling everyone Black hole the event. Map, oh, that was, then, this was so no. funny, man. Yeah, they were like this for like 52 odd hours. With a black hole and everyone is just staring at it. No one really Long, knows it was what's like going on. Way over a day. Are we going to a new map? Is the old map coming back? Is Fortnite gone forever? After a long two-day wait, we finally two days, so yeah, forty-eight hours, and we got Fortnite chapter, chapter two. two. Oh my god, I've waited literally two days for this moment. Ah, it's beautiful. A brand new map, new fishing, swimming, boats, the mythic goldfish, upgrade benches, all new POIs, new items. The season had a super hot start. What's in that weird bunker? When is the Kraken event happening? When are the updates? No, seriously. When are the updates? <laughs> That's right. For some reason, Epic Strategy was to stop the updates. We got almost no new guns or updates in Season 1. It was also <laughs> extended due to delays, and it ended up being Fortnite's longest season ever. There oh, was wow. so little content that it forced us to make our own. Overall, it wasn't a great start to the chapter, but that would all change in Chapter 2, Season 2. There we go. Mythic items, a super memorable battle pass. Yeah, my does. Sharks. I like the season. Fishmen, rapid fire, chapter 2, SMGs, Season 2. Helicopters, a Deadpool collaboration, and the Travis Scott event. The game felt fun, and there was a massive... I have the Travis Scott event on my YouTube, if you want to check that out, by the way, too. ...viewership and players as lockdowns around the world forced people to stay inside and get some dubs. And people started approaching the skill ceiling as we discovered Peace Control, a high mm. way to play Fortnite that would leave the defaults in the dust. Streamers were excited for the new map, but quickly got bored of killing the same AI players every game and started moving on to other games. Controller Aim Assist was the most broken it's ever been this season. Keyboard players said that Aim Assist was basically cheating, and controller players said, yeah, but you guys have your entire arm to aim. Meanwhile, underneath the agency, Midas was building a device. A uh -huh. device to stop the storm from closing. This event was sick it as well. It rose from the agency and shot I have also on my YouTube channel. The, storm from closing. Travel, the Travis Scott one and this device event I have on my YouTube channel. This weird white you want to watch that? We met Agent Jonesy. They initiated their backup plan, though, and transformed the storm into a massive wall of water to stop him. This is the first time Fortnite really this got sick as well. the storyline. In the lore, the game of Fortnite is a big, never-ending loop. And oh, wow. all stuck in it. You land, eliminate people, the storm closes, and then it all resets. Agent mm. Jonesy works for a secret organization called the Imagined Order. Oh, yeah, I know. This was crazy, though. And keep the loop like, of Fortnite. Fortnite, all oh, the, the, the people who make Fortnite epic games are like and the whole thinking outside the box here. In chapter two, season Blouse three. down. This it's also kind of cool. Though, week by week, revealing more and more of the map, which felt super fun. Unlike the last two seasons, this season was short and sweet and had a ton of new changes. More mythics and more vaults, the authority, the Portilla, Caddy Corner, Flare Guns, Fire, Cars, and everyone's favorite POI, Coral Castle. <laughs> Overall, this was a really fun season. The community was really loving Fortnite. Oh, now there's the charge shock. Unfortunately, yeah. That was actually decent, to be fair. I didn't mind that. Took me a while to there learn wasn't it. Many fights to be had, and the gameplay started to slow down. Halfway during the season, Epic shocked the world when they sued Apple. Oh yeah. Complicated I played it that competition with other skins. Mobile was removed, but Fortnite wasn't done yet. They dropped one of their biggest seasons ever. Chapter two, season four. A huge new Star Ah, Trek Marvel! Fire. Absolutely love this event. Finally back. Stark Rifle, Unibeam, Group Baller, Thor's Hammer, Doctor Doom Mythics. There was a ton of content, and this season was incredible. Fortnite was. players noticed Galactus getting bigger and bigger in the sky during the Ooh. season. We thought it was over. He was coming for the zero point, and he was going to completely destroy the island. But what happened was very different. <laughs> This is like so sick. Cypher, you have absolutely 
smash this man. A guy that can eat entire planets just ate a few battle buses and blew up. But now the zero point was exposed again. But this time, instead of destabilizing the map, we got chapter two, season five. The zero point brought literally every collab you can think of, including a uh, fan favorite. <laughs> covered in sand, you can tunnel around in it. Uh, well, oh, yeah. it only worked for two weeks though. Bando sniper, exotic items. There's a Coliseum, gold system, NPCs. Tilted is back. Well. Kinda. This mm. season had a really promising start. Uh, the and then they gone for the lever shotgun, and the updates just weren't hitting. The community thought season five was uh, kind of mid, but it's all good. Chapter two, season six is here. That was also Jonesy decent, though. The IO and goes rogue and meets up with the foundation in a preseason event. Who ends up trapping himself inside the zero point? There's a crazy system, that. primal weapons, bows, recyclers, and this. a big spire in the Can middle of the map. Though, but overall, this season like, wasn't that well received. People Not didn't really like the primal weapons, and the makeshift weapons were even worse. But in chapter two, season seven, oh, aliens! have invaded the map, and there's this massive mothership in the sky. New UFOs, Gravitrons, prop guns. Chimera SMGs, the Railgun, Recon Scanner, Fortnite was killing it with the updates. POIs are getting sucked up by the aliens, but the IO have a plan. When they abduct the next POI, they're going to attach bombs to it and send players into the mothership and detonate it. Looking back, uh, I don't know why we agreed to this since we ended up getting betrayed and that was pretty obvious, but we were saved by Kevin. Hey! Oh, we hugged the Kevin? Oh my god. Uh, Kevin is now nice. Blue. He's finally back, the plan worked, and the mothership crashed down onto the island raining cubes, leading us into chapter two, season eight. Mm. The queen of the mothership is now on the island and corrupting it. There's this new sideways area with zombies that almost no one really cares about. The updates were okay. We got Naruto, but mm. the community was getting bored. Thankfully, we had late game arena to tide us over, but people were really getting bored of the chapter two map. But suddenly there were rumors rumors about fortnite chapter three huh. and what do you know fortnite announced the end event part two the queen opens up a portal and the whole squad is about to roll up on us but the seven and the foundation who ends up being the rock execute yeah. a plan to flip the entire island to stop the queen bringing us into fortnite chapter hey. three and now here we are in fortnite chapter three Chapter 3 Season 1 was an amazing start to the chapter. We had Spider-Man, oh, yeah. Mythics, Clombos, brand new POIs, Tornadoes, and Storms. But nothing could prepare us for what Epic has in store next. Because Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2 is here and Epic did the unthinkable. They removed building oh, for yeah. two weeks. And this season, the IO and the Seven are in an all-out war. The IO build the collider and plan to destroy the island. But thankfully, the Seven had a plan. They've been rebuilding the mech oh. on the moon. Huh? And during the collision event, it comes to save the island. We take out the collider, defeat Sloan and the IO, and get a tease at the next villain, Geno, which takes us to season three. Oh, yeah. After months of war, it's time to just vibe. There's a new reality tree biome, rideable animals, but all this time, we're being watched by the Herald. She lays low, but puts her plan into motion in season four. The island is being taken over by Chrome. Ah, so this is what we're in now, the okay. Entire map, but also brings us a ton of new content. Yeah. And I finally got to join the Fortnite hey. icon series. The Herald's plan is all leading up to a huge live event for the fate of the island and could be the end of Fortnite Chapter 3. It is. While this chapter of the Fortnite story may be over, I have no, a like reading out from a book. Oh, wow. At the very beginning of the story of Fortnite. It's now been five years of Fortnite. Five? Day, all this in five flipping years. The story might end. But the memories we've made here together five years. will last. It's not feel five, like five years. It's like more than that, life. to be honest. What? What? Five years? Today we'll be what? doing no, we don't this. Bingo, but in voice chat. We've done this video idea. Stop. I'm out. I'm using the wrong buttons here. There we go.